Hi, so we have another lot in from the Maritime Provinces. It came in last week and I just haven't gotten to opening it yet, but I'm about to. So I just looked online because I always forget to do that. <clears throat> I just looked to see what exactly the slot was. So I paid $20 for it. And it is a crafting lot, apparently. And wearable. It has both. Not sure why I bought a crafting lot. Excepting I probably didn't notice it said crafting. I was probably just noticing that it said um, $20. So I was probably just looking at the price and didn't really, because I, I bought from this woman many, 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 many times before. Uh, she's in the Maritime Provinces. In fact, she's in New Brunswick. I can't remember. Is she in New Brunswick? Um, Nova Scotia. She's in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Um, and her lots are, are, are good. I mean, uh, but I do like to buy from other people. Spring is here. Oh, I like that. Susan, thank you so much for another purchase. I always look forward to our transactions. And I'm now enjoying watching your videos you post. A few ex extras on top. Take care of Alyssa. Isn't that sweet of her? Well, thank you, Alyssa. And thank you for watching. So <laughs> I said to Alyssa, because you see, I don't usually share the places necessarily that I buy from because I don't really have their permission to do so. And I don't like to give people's addresses out um, online. But however, I did actually, I was talking to Alyssa. Well, I wasn't talking to her, but you know what I mean? I'd emailed her. And um, I had said to her that I've opened up an awful lot of her lots. And, uh, you know, would she mind if I shared her contact information or because I buy from I buy from her off of eBay? And she said, by all means. So I think that she doesn't have a store. She is a seller on eBay. And so um, because I do want to support other resellers. I absolutely do not mind um, sharing the sharing a good reseller if I find one. It's not like we're going to run out of jewelry, right? I mean, <laughs> there's always jewelry to be found. So I don't, I only, uh, Alyssa is not the name that she goes by on eBay. So what I will do when I post this video is I will, um, I'll look her up and I will put her her uh, name as a seller that she goes by on eBay in the description below, just in case anybody wants to take a look and, you know, maybe buy their own lots from her or what have you. Um, and I'm happy to do that. Yes, she always. Oh, my goodness. Look at the beads, guys. <laughs> How did she know that I had started a bead lot? And I only did that last week. Remember in my video, I said to you guys, so would you like me to separate beads from crafting? Or, And I think that uh, one of our subscriber members that comes into the auction had said, no, please um, separate the beads. So that's what I'm doing. So we have a bag of beads here, guys. And thank you so much. Alyssa for not leaving them all. <laughs> I still remember a lot that I got from somewhere. I still remember. I think it was, I think it was from BC here and it was just all in a big, huge, it was all loose and I was kind of going and all of a sudden there were beads everywhere and weeks and weeks I swept them off. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these beautiful blue. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. 
Aren't they beautiful? You know what? They look like um, they look like a peacock feather. You know, that sort of, um, those are gorgeous. Those are beautiful. And what do we have here? Red. We have red earrings. Nice. Well, thank you so much. Okay. What do we have here? Okay, this is nice. So remember, I said that this is a crafting lot, guys. So, and I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got a little empty box here, and I'm just going to stick some stuff. Ooh, what is, oh my goodness. This is nice. It looks like it's, um, it looks like a watch or something, right? Oh my gosh, look at that. Quartz movement. Wonder if it works. That is so cute. That is really cute. I wonder if the battery could be changed. Oh yeah, it would come out this way. So that's how, okay. I'll have to see. And if not, it's a really nice, um, these are nice rhinestone. It will really, it will complement a nice art lot. I um, just sold an art lot at the last auction. So, oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. So, uh, I guess that's supposed to be a pendant. I thought, I thought it was, uh, an earring. That's beautiful. Really good condition. I'm guessing a really nice silver, silver plating, uh, silver tone. Nice. Very nice. Oh, somebody had said to me that I should save these and put them into my art bag, but where should I put these? Um, I know, I'll put them in here. Okay. Yeah, somebody had mentioned that. Well, that's a nice silver chain. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, this could be really fun to layer with. Actually, I'm going to take a bunch out and then I'm just going to move the box to the side. Oh my gosh. <gasps> side. I'll put that up there. Okay. We have these. I don't see that there's, oh, there is, oh, it's got a toggle clasp. Oh, that's nice. I love toggle clasps. I really have such a problem with the spring clasps. Isn't that nice? I, re I like that. I really like that. It's probably, I just sort of Put it around my neck. I'm guessing this is going to be about 18 inches. It's not, it's nice. This is nice, guys. That's really nice. Nice length. It looks a bit short, but it isn't. Ooh. There's a really nice stamp on that. Did you guys see that? Or did I whisk it away too quickly for you? Let me just see if I can read it. Um, wow, that's hard to read. It looks like it's actually just, um, it looks like Asian 
symbols or something. Um, do I have my, I don't have my camera, which is kind of silly. I don't have my camera loop here. Um, I don't know if you can be able to see this. I'm gonna try my best here. Um, I'm getting an awful lot of, here, just a minute, let me turn the light off of that. Whoops, because it's, it is spreading an awful, oh gosh, that's bright. It's spreading an awful lot of glare across it. So I think without that, you might be able to, might be able to, oh, now I can't, okay. Now it's too dark. I'm still getting that glare. I wonder where that's, okay. It wasn't coming from that light at all. So let's try it again. I'm getting quite a, anyway, um, it's not quite in focus, but I think that's with this is, that's bit about the best I can do. It looks to me, I'm not sure what that is. Very interesting anyway. It's, it's vintage. This is not, uh. It's certainly not recent or new. I'm just not sure. Wish I could, I wish I knew those stamps. I really don't. Okay. Onward and upward, hey? I seem to be moving this camera thing again. Okay. Oh, these are amazing. Wow. Okay, so these are faceted. This is on uh, copper. Nice. Pretty sure that's copper. Or it may be copper tone. This may be copper tone. This is copper here. These are uh, acrylic faceted. Just... Um, Yeah, it's very pretty. And it has, it has something here. It's got a little, uh, what looks like a little heart, but there is no, there's no actual stamp. There's no actual maker's mark on that. Uh, it's just completely blank. But I'm not sure who does that. So if anybody knows, let me know. Very, very nice in amber color. Really sweet. Oh, here's um So this is a nice lot actually. Oh, this is gorgeous. Very, very nice. This is uh, black and white. Oh, it has a nice toggle clasp. Sorry, let me just, uh, there we go. This has a really nice toggle clasp on it. It's very long. Now, do I have my... Um, And it's uh, black and white. Almost has that marbled effect. Acrylic. Very pretty. Where did I put the... It was here. Where did I put the jewelry display stand? I don't know where I put it. It was... I got it out. <laughs> okay. That's really pretty. You don't even have to undo it in order to put it on. It's probably about 36 to 40 inches. It's very, very long. It's very pretty. Oh, 
What do we have here? This looks like all sorts of fun things. Oh my goodness, look at this. Should I have opened it up? So <clears throat> these are going to be bits and pieces for arts. Oh. These are like little panels. Um, so, oh, I see. So that was the match, but the stone had uh, come out. <clears throat> this is cute. It's just, again, just something that... Bits and pieces. That looks like it's a singleton earring. Okay. I think I'll put this in the beads. I'll put the beads in the beads lot and the... Uh... Oh, that's a nice little... Um... Not really quite sure. I thought it had an opening in here. I thought it was a type of a clasp, but it doesn't seem to be. So, yeah, not sure about that. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. Oh. I think these, I have a funny feeling that these are real pearls. Those are gorgeous. I'll have to look at them more closely. I'm not the I'm not the expert to be able to literally look, but it, yeah, they look to me like they are genuine pearls. Just the openings of them, the feel of them. Uh, maybe not. These might be. Anyway, I'll have to look at them more closely. These are so pretty. Look at the luster on these. And we have these little uh, gold tone. There's a little bit of vertigray on there that I'm going to have to get off. But these really pretty little gold tone rings as spacers with those acrylic diamond cut uh, beads makes a real shine to it yeah these are nice these are very um, interesting interesting now these are fun I love the color color is a very light mint another beautiful toggle clasp I have to say, I love toggle clasps. I don't know if everybody does, but I really do. Look at that gorgeous piece. Look at that gore beautiful bead. And this is just the most exquisite green. A real light lime. It's not even lime. I'm not even sure what you would call this color. It is really pretty, though. <clears throat> I wish, oh, there's my display. Okay. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? The luster on these is just so, so pretty. Love that. Whoops. There goes the camera. That is really pretty. I'm not sure what these are strung on. It seems to be very uh, thick. Yeah, it's, it's on really thick wire. 
because you can almost uh, bend and mold it. It's, um, but it hangs nicely, as you saw on the display. It hangs really nicely. So, yeah. Yeah, somebody had seen all of these little things and said, keep those, put them in the art lot. <laughs> Oh, nice gold tone chain. I don't see a stamp. It's quite short. Probably about, I'm thinking about 16 inches. It has like a lobster. Yeah, it's about 17, 16, 17 inches. It's not too short. It's, um, it certainly is longer than a choker style. It looks shorter than it is. Um, and it has a lobster type clasp on it. And I think I just caught my hair in it. Yeah. Really good condition. Again, very, very nice for layering. Really sweet for layering. Yeah, I'm always happy with her lots. And she presents them so beautifully. Always wraps everything nicely. Very simple, classic gold tone. Gold tone chain. I don't know what you would call that. It almost looks braided. Very pretty. Very pretty. Ooh. A watch. Oh my gosh. An owl watch. <laughs> I honestly didn't even see that. We, we have quite the... Um, okay, it needs a new band. We would have to see if it would need uh, a new battery. I don't, you know, who knows if it works. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We have quite the owl theme going, don't we, guys? I seem to be inundated with owls. Yeah, okay, it doesn't work. So I'll see about putting a battery in that. See, see if it works. So we've got two to look at and see whether or not they work. These are the beads. These have nice beads in them. Uh, I don't want to take out all the beads, but um, I'm seeing some really nice stuff in here. Look at that gorgeous glass bead. Isn't that beautiful? So these will be going into my bead lot. Look at this one. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I have a bracelet. I might have even bought it from her that has one of these beads on it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice bead lot. And then there's all sorts of different kinds of beads. Nice. Okay, we're just about, I think, oh, that's the other stuff, right? Those are the earrings. I think we're just about at the end, guys. It's a small lot. Um, oh, I got a few more pieces in here. Okay, love these boxes. What is in here? Oh my gosh. Quartz. Again, it's not, it's not working at the moment, but it, 
I mean, this looks like dead stock, right? It looks like it has never even been um, Avon. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Avon dead stock, really? That's uh that's gotta be nice. I wonder if I can just slip this off the and red. You guys know how I'm sort of a finagle about red jewelry, right? I'm just gonna keep this all intact. Well, I guess I mean if I were to resell this, I would put a battery in it anyway. I think so. Maybe I will just well let me see if I can get it off here. Avon dead stock. Who would have thought? Avon has nice quality. It has really nice quality. Okay, we were able to get that out. Beautiful, beautiful red watch with gold tone. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this has never been. Japan Movement BWC. Don't know what that is. Not sure what this line is on there. I mean, maybe that's why it was... Um, I'd love to see if this had a year on it. Crown portion, setting time, standard analog. Setting your watch, battery change. And... Yeah, I don't see, I don't see, uh, I don't see a year. That would have been interesting, right? It's very pretty. <gasps> you guys, the battery is in it. I always, I always do this. There is a battery in it. I always do this. By the way, guys, just so you know, I didn't know this. In fact, maybe I'm a little stupid. I did not know this until I was working for the thrift store and managing it. And what we did was we would pull this just a little bit. And what it does is it makes the watch stop and it saves the battery. So every time I get a watch in one of these lots... That's, I don't know if you've noticed that I do that. I always will pull it to make sure it's fully out, and then I push push it back in. 